lot of sketches on the spots and I uh, paint the ocean, I paint the flowers and uh, everything that uh, inspires me and then when I paint them it's like I can uh, have a conversation with them and uh, I can uh, imagine what uh, kind of story do they have and I uh, try to illustrate it and create character designs and uh, try to tell their story. Chapter 1 The Arrival This tale is about the wind who decided to leave the mainland to be free. She was running on the wide ocean, enjoying her freedom, but suddenly in the far she noticed an island. She was excited but nervous as well. Could this be a land became her new home? Or just the end of her freedom? The wind was too afraid to step on the island. She was running around it creating huge waves in her rage. The raging peaks when the sun is about to set. The wind is amazed by the colors that the sunset dresses her into and she dances every night catching onto the last lights of the sun celebrating the end of the day but once the sun sinks under the ocean it's like the time stops she suddenly stops and sits she's hypnotized by the colors of the sun left on the sky after sinking she have never seen the sky so wide. She have never seen these colors before. She calms down after the sunset and watches the colors of the sky. While getting close to the land, the first friends the wind made were the palm trees along the coast. She enjoyed dancing with them at the sunset. She gathered her courage to step out of the water and she landed on the light and comforting pampas grass who led her deep into the island. Chapter 2 Discover the colors of the island The deeper the island you go, the more flowers you encounter during the year. In Okinawa, the cherry blossoms bloom during the winter. In January, the trees are preparing, stretching their muscles before their dance. They are dancing under the palm trees, surrounded by the big green leaves, yearning for the far sky. The wind was excited to dance together with the flowers, but unlike the other cherry blossoms in Japan, the winter cherry won't fly away in the wind. They just drop their flowers after the short dance. They grow their leaves out ready to join the giant green nature of Okinawa. Chapter 3 Pressure of the Tide It is exciting to discover all the flowers, to meet new faces, but also overwhelming. The wind had to run back to the ocean, which is familiar to her. At least she thought so. 
she got caught in the tides, carried away by the currents. She was not in control anymore. She felt the pressure of all the new challenges she had to face in the island. She didn't want to run anymore. She just wanted to cozy under her clouds, hide away from the sun, sink deep, deep down into the ocean under the weight of the pressure. Chapter 4 Dive into the green On the bottom of the ocean, it feels like the time stops. When the wind gathered her power to climb out of the water again, she wanted to rest in the deep of the calm green nature. She enjoyed watching the flow of the Gajumara tree. She saw her branches growing and flowing like a river, always in motion. A motion that cannot be seen with our eyes. A motion that seems slow, but it is constant, never stops, never rests. Just like the motion of the wind should be, the wind decided not to rest, not to waste any more time. Continue roaming in the green, she discovered a lot of new friends. She ran around the banana trees, messing up their leafy hair. They didn't mind their hair, but they held onto their banana with all their power during even the biggest typhoon. The wind was yearning for a precious thing that she would hold onto, like the trees, to their fruits, but she was just roaming around without any attachments to hold on to. And when the moment comes to hold each other close, Chapter 5 Mixed up seasons. What time is it? Which season is this? The wind doesn't know anymore. She got used to lead by the colors of nature. Summer is green, winter is white, spring is pink, fall is red. But in Okinawa, the colors are mixed up. The pink flowers bloom in the winter. The red leaves won't fall down even when new flowers are blooming. And everything is always green. She doesn't understand the system of nature anymore. Then she met the beech almond tree. In her, she discovered the flow of nature again. She did color her leaves, lost them, reborn, and even bloom her little flowers in spring. But she lives on the coast of the sea too. She fights with the strong wind. She stands the burning sunlight. She bears the salt in the air. How did she figure out how to live inside this system that makes no sense? The almond tree told this to the wind. You don't have to understand the nature you live in. You just have to embrace it. Chapter 6 Find your beach. Spend all this time trying to figure out where I live, trying to understand what surrounds me. And when I fail to do it, I break under the fear of the unknown. Standing on the beach, on the verge of two words, close to the sea to feel the moving tides, but lying in the sand where it is steady and safe. This is where I belong. This is what I want to hold on to. This is the place where I want to come back home after a long day enjoying and embracing this ocean-hugged island. Stamperari <laughs> 